Okay guys, uh, we got one more experiment for you tonight here at the uh, Fleet Creek Pirate Broadcast Laboratories. Um, as you can see, there's the same setup, our rotor, our, uh, our drive coil, uh, which is by filer with our trigger coil. Uh, to look at the circuit over here, we've got uh, this diode that I yanked out of a television. That's like an 800 volt diode. That's going out to, to uh, the charge positive to the charge battery there. Uh, here's our transistor. Um, that's the same model we're using in everything else. Uh, 2SK2257. Uh, um, our neon. We've got one uh, 1K of uh, variable uh, resistor here, 5K variable variable resistor here. And here's the little relay coil back here. This is uh, Johnny Dobro's uh, addition to the circuit uh, that I, uh, I picked up on some time ago. Um, okay. So just so you, you know basically what we got here, um, here's our, our next toy for showing magnetic fields. We've got some, some ferrofluid in this, uh, this little dish here. And I'm going to pretty much do the same thing I did just now with the, uh, with the iron filings, but we're going to do it with the ferrofluid and see what happens. As you can see, we started with an even distribution of ferrofluid across the surface of this. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of tilt it and pull in some from the edges. So we want to collect as much ferrofluid as we can into the middle there. to better show our rotating magnetic field. Alright. There we go. Now, as you can see, this is kind of creating a spiraling pattern. I'm going to try to balance it on there as best I can. All right, so we're almost in the middle there. It's going to create kind of a spiral pattern in here. I'm just going to let it go for a little bit. Try to increase our lighting so that you can see this effect. Cause it's pretty neat. You can see a spiral pattern starting to emerge there in the ferrofluid. I'm going to let it go for a little bit longer. I'm going to shine some light on the situation. This will show up a little bit better with uh, something white colored underneath, so I'm going to defile my uh, laboratory notebook here and feel a piece of paper out of it real quick. How about that beautiful spiral? See if I can even center it up for us. And if you watch carefully, you can see individual part, little streams of particles flowing into the middle there. And 
Now recently we heard in the news about a magnetar. It should have been a black hole, but it wasn't. It was a magnetar. Incredibly magnetized, uh, massive body. Um, we also saw a pulsar get eclipsed by its uh, orbiting companion. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say a pulsar is a little something different. There's an electrical arc going on between that spinning magnetic body and another heavenly body. Um, and wow, that really kind of makes a... If you can imagine, that looks like an accretion disk there, doesn't it? Makes us think a little more deeply on uh, black holes as a magnetic phenomenon. I thought it was pretty cool. I just had to show you guys. If any of you would think it was cool too. Take it out of the field and it collapses. Back into a puddle. Put it in the field. And everything we just build, it's going to try to suck right back up. Look, even the, <laughs> even the container wants to rotate. And mind you, we're not even hitting really high RPMs with this, uh, with this rotor. We're maybe, we're maybe 500 hertz tops on this thing. Uh, I'll be very curious to see what this looks like on a flower power device. In fact, let's do that. What the hell? I don't think I need a neon uh, being lit so badly right now that uh, I can't uh, ditch this generator coil. <coughs> and maintain control of my rotor there so we can kind of try to keep it in the sweet spot. All right, I don't know about keeping it sweet spot, but I did keep it running. <laughs> okay, you ready to see what that looks like on the flower power? I am. I haven't done this before, so uh, let's check it out. Oh, uh, not a very big field. I don't have enough hands. Still a little lump there, it looks like. Let's see if I can get that rotor in a better position for this. about the best I can do. So we got a little cauldron there, but the, the field is uh, very small.
Okay, boys and girls, let's play time for today. Thank you.